So overdrafts have long been considered to be incidental credit underneath Regulation B. That's what letter A says. What that means then is it invites fair lending to the table, which means you've got to make sure you're not illegally discriminating. So when we talk about how you go about making decisions, whether it's ad hoc 100%, whether it's 100% automated or some combination of that of a hybrid, make certain that the criteria used, your roadmap for deciding whether to pay or return an item, hey, doesn't include or cross over or intersect with anything that would be a form of illegal discrimination. And you'd have to look to Regulation B for that. Hey, there's eight things in Reg B that you can't take into consideration with any aspect of a credit transaction. And remember that that includes overdrafts as well. So what's your criteria? What's your process? What's your roadmap to ensure success? If you don't have one, we've got a lot of financial institutions over the years that said, no, we kind of put it in our, 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 our customer service people's hands because you know there's character and there's relationships. Well, when you leave things to the imagination like that, when you don't qualify them, when you don't justify them with numbers and ranges and things like that, and you make it the the the, the open wild west, that's just what you're going to get. And that's going to bring more risk to the table. And so try to, to, to pare those things down and come up with what your criteria is going to be. I'm not saying that relationships don't matter, but quantify it. I'm not saying that uh, character doesn't matter, but quantify it so that when I'm working my overdrafts, I end up with the same answers with the same people, same types of people. Okay, as what Diane would or Andy would or other people on your team would if they were looking at a similarly situated customer with the same criteria rather than having this risk that we're not treating people the same. The CFPB is still aiming for something beyond fair lending, a fair marketplace.